What is the meaning of Sikhism and what does it mean to be a Sikh? What is this entire concept and religion and where does it originate from? Hello everybody, welcome back to the Tarot Tanvi. I am Tanvi, this is my studio. These are my tarot cards that I am going to pull towards the end of this video, so please stay with me. So before I go on and give a beautiful philosophy of Guru Nanak Dev Ji and how he came up with this entire concept of Sikhism, I would just like to say that in case you would like to book a personal reading with me, all my links are in the description of this episode, so please feel free to contact me. At the same time, please don't forget to pray for world peace. We need more love, we need more empathy, we need more care, more affection. In this world, this world is crying out for help. We don't need more haters, we don't need more people who begin to criticize each other all the time. So please make sure that you spread love. The word Sikh originates from the word Shishya, which means a student. So being a Sikh means that you are a student for the rest of your life. And uh, life is your, your entire life is your school from which you will never be able to graduate. Now what it means uh, by all of this is the fact that we are supposed to keep learning for the rest of our lives. Sikhism is a beautiful, beautiful concept and religion which was introduced by Guru Nanak Dev Ji where he wanted to spread the messages of oneness, of the importance of the fact that God is not an external entity. God is not, not outside, but that God is inside, within us, within all of us. Guru Nanak Dev Ji also wanted to show that you can all be, that we can all be spiritual we can all meditate and still have a very normal life. We can still go, for, go to work, have children, have a wife and do everything that we want to do with our lives. Being spiritual does not mean that we need to run away uh, up to the Himalayas or go somewhere and just completely discard this entire world. Guru Nanak Dev Ji wanted to introduce the concept that we can use spirituality, we can use our spiritual wisdom and the concept of oneness, togetherness and love and show empathy towards other beings and live happily in our lifetimes. So now similarly, a Gurudwara, which is a Sikh temple, is the concept of Gurudwara is that it's sort of a school that we all should go there. We should read the scriptures, we should not worship anybody there, but we should just learn. We should learn service, we should learn how to feed other people, we should learn that our egos are not as important as being to, of service to other people. And hence when we come out of a Gurudwara, which is a school, we have to practice those things that we have learned at the Gurudwara every single day at, with every act that we do in our lives. So Sikhism also says that there are no gurus. We all have to be students for the rest of our lives and keep learning with this beautiful experience of life. Beautiful, isn't it? I really love that. So let me just shuffle your cards and pull cards for you. Let's see what we have. So we have the moon and the hermit. So this all talks about Finding your inner peace, finding what you care about. The hermit is often uh, represented by the Virgo energy and we have just had the full moon in Virgo. Uh, and yes, this is the moon. So, uh, from, and Virgo energy is all about, uh, you know, being more assertive of what you personally want. How you want to live your life, how you want to organize your life, how you want to have your schedule. But that cannot be uh, done till the time you have a knowing of who you really are. And what I mean by that is that you will not know what your intuition is truly try trying to tell you or how to distinguish between your intuition and just fears and noises of other people and, and concepts of other people till the time you get to know who you are. So for that you might have to spend some time alone. So these two cards are really encouraging you to Take time out for yourself, for your own personal care. Maybe meditate, maybe journal, do whatever you feel is right for your self-care. And definitely spending some time alone will make the path ahead clearer, will make you less confused in life. 
So yeah, so that's all that I have for you today. I hope that this was helpful in some way and I will see you again next time. Bye bye, take care.